Bama pose. What is the secret? How to set it up and how to achieve this pose? Hey everyone, I'm uh, setting up for today's baby and I would like you to show you how I set up for Bama pose. I always start with Bama position because for me it's easier to transition and kind of for the first two setups I use the, this setup right here to move the baby around. I always start with the bum up pose and I always start with using three pillows. The first two, the big one and a little one, I put it at the baby's head right here where usually if I need another pillow I can lift it up so I can put my hand underneath and lift this pillow up more higher and replace this pillow if I need to. Then I put one more pillow at the baby's bottom. Why? Uh, it's mainly because this is pushing the tushi up, up, and the leg up. So that's where we get the baby's curve. I use these three pillows and I start with uh, bama pose first because once that I've done the bama pose I unravel the legs I move this pillow a bit more higher and I do the side laying pose so for me it goes bama pose side laying pose and then if I want to do another pose which usually I don't do more than two poses on the beanbag because I have other varieties to do props and parents um, or depending if the baby is unsettled, I can do more poses. Keeping the pillows as they are, I can turn the baby on the back and put a wrap around the baby and do the womb pose in here. Then at the last, last one, I will move around the pillows in front and I will do the chin on hands. But for me, if I want to do the chin on hands, I always start with the pillows in front um, because it's a pose which we can, um, we need a little bit more on it. But today I'm talking about Bama pose. So pretty much that's where I keep my pillows. And what I do next, I cover my bean bag. <laughs> it's not a bean bag. It's an improvised Victoria's bean bag because I really love this. I put a really thick layer of blanket, pretty much this counts as four. Why I, cut it, I put it as being smaller? Because I can lift this corner easily and fix my pillows. If I had layers and layers, that would be a little bit harder to achieve. Then after I've done this, I put more layers. And I have all my layers here and I will tell you in a second how many I have. Let's count them. I have one, two, three, I have a pee pad, four, five layers. Four, I have five layers and in between layers I'll have a pee pad depending how many layer how many poses I do so right now I have a white I put another pee pad in there just in case and then the final layer and this is my layer where I pose on now I will see, as you see this layer is super thin, so I may have to put another gray layer underneath so it doesn't see the white through. I brought a blue just in case mom wants a blue in there or something like this, I can use it. If not, this will stay like that. Let's see, this is a see-through also but we can see, oh, see, put it on the wrong side. Oh, 
Oh, it's perfect. All right. So the only thing what it's left is to use clamps. Now, my clamps are paper clips clamps just because my stand it's round and it fits around my posing bag and if we lift all the blankies you have here the pillows and you can see the dip that's what you want as soon as i finish i make sure that everything is straight and i don't have any creases in the blanket that will make your uh, job easier, pretty much. You see that crease? I don't want it there. So we stretch it out. We stretch it out and we clamp it around to make sure that everything is tight. So this is the Bama Post setup, beanbag setup. And I will show you some behind the scenes of the Bama Pose. Also, if you want to join my membership area, there is a free content in there. You can join then and watch like editing videos. I will have in my Facebook group live video talking about how to pose, live questions, and all those will go into the free content. So you can join that. There will be links in the comments or in the post. Now let me show you how to achieve the bama pose with the baby. My baby was unsettled. We just fit him just to take the shot. And what we've done is that we place it on his tummy then we want to make sure that his hand comes underneath his chin underneath his jaw and his chin is touching the front shoulder also we want to make sure that we rotate his bum towards uh, the hand in such a way that the knee will touch the elbow as you see the baby's back has a c shape the elbow and the knee touches and you can see the bottom when you take the shot. Here are some final edited images. You can see the chin is touching the shoulder, the elbow is touching the knee, and at the back you can see a little bit of her foot with the toes. Isn't this perfect? Now you can take many shots from different angles. Don't forget to share it, like, and push the notification bell up so you know when I post, I'm posting more videos. <music>